Paul, shoestring here. Last video I did on one of these easy longers, I did on a uh, ES960. This one I'm doing the ES400 Air because it is a less expensive alternative and it still basically does the same thing. I'm doing these videos on these power supplies because they're DC and not AC. You don't, it's not like a battery where you have to have an inverter. These right here are nice and quiet and they go directly from DC to DC. And I like that. And they're real valuable when you're having a power outage or you're out camping or just something happens. So let's go on with this one. It's an ES400. It's like I said, an easy longer. And we're gonna open up the box, see what we have here. We have a, and this is mostly for CPAP machines. You can use it for other types. You can charge other things, tablets, laptops, phones, but I'm showing it because so many people use CPAP machines and with power going out so frequently, I wanted to show you easy ways to overcome that. Okay, so we have a manual. Here it is, the easy long, it's in a nice little case, much smaller. I'll put a link down to the video I just did recently on the 960, which is much larger than this. This is smaller, but basically the same configuration, except it doesn't have a handle, okay? Little LED showing us the percentage of power for the battery. This just pulled it out of the box, so I have no idea how a lot of this works at the moment, but I wanted to show you what we have. Here it says DC in and out, USB-C out, USB, and of course your 12-volt cigarette lighter. Just a standard one. And I am going to charge this all the way up. Right there are the connections. And then we're going to test it with the CPAP machine after I charge it up. And we see, we'll see how well it works. What also came in the box is a charger for it. And connection cords for different CPAP machines. Have it right there. Most common models. And of course, I'll show you on mine and give you some run times. And, uh, that's for a RISMED Mini. And the USB-C for charging if you use that. Okay, that's everything that came with it. I will charge it all up. And we'll come back in just a little bit and test it with the CPAP machine. Now that we have this all charged up, our ES400 Air, let's go ahead and talk about hooking it up. So, as we saw, there is several connections over here. Go through them one more time. Cigarette lighter, 12 volt output, and then we have DC in and out, USB-C out, and USB out. And there's each one of them. We're going to be using the connection right there, which is the DC in and out. As you saw when I took opened it up, they have the cords that come that tells you which one it will actually work with. Since we have the ResMed AirSense 10, that's the one I'm going to be using the cord. What we have to remember is that with these, you have to make sure you have the voltage correct. I'm going to hold it down. And it starts giving you voltages. First was 12, 16.5, 20. This CPAP machine is 24. How do we know that? Well, one way is you can check the manual. The other is you simply get the cord. You get the cord that comes with your device. And you can see 
it shows you that it's 24 volt. It also tells you what the amps are and watts. So this is 90 watts. So that's how much you will pull. So you can see that and 24, 24 volts. So we want 24 volts. And I've set this up for 24 volts. Now, we're simply going to take it and we're going to open it up and we're going to connect the cord that came with it into the power system and then into the CPAP machine where you would normally plug up your device. And as you can see, it came on. Lights up and it will at this point do its normal charge and run up. And that's as easy as it gets. Like I said, this is a cheaper alternative to the last device I showed you, the last Easy Longer. This one runs around $160 to $170, much cheaper than the other one. But we must remember run times. When I tested this, it had a run time with everything on at 5.5 hours not quite throughout the night. But if you turn the heating of the tube off and the humidifier, it will run about 24 hours. So if you're going to use this one, this much cheaper alternative, I would suggest that you turn those items off. I also wanted to show you how easy it is to use the cigarette adapter with this Easy Longer. You simply take your cigarette lighter adapter. We simply plug it into the cigarette adapter right there. Bring this over, plug it into your CPAP machine. And it comes on nice and easy. And that's just how easy it is to hook that up if you're camping in a car, in an RV, somewhere where you only have your cigarette lighter adapter. And it works just like that. It's a really good machine. It's small, portable. If you want to go camping or you're taking it to some type of bug out situation, it would really work well. It charges up with solar. And of course, it plugs in the charge up. So this is a device you want to consider if it's going to work for what you want it, the device for what you want it to power and what you want it to do. Okay, so... I'll put a link to it down in the description. And of course, if you like these types of videos, please like, subscribe, click that little bell, and share. Shoestring out.